We went to space! We went on the Galactic Star Cruiser. We're going to share the journey from our two days in space and give our thoughts about everything we experienced. And now, let's go to the galaxy far, far away. Are you excited? Are you excited? <laughs> yes. Just the... What planet are you from? Tatooine. Navarro, maybe? Starbucks. <laughs> Oh, I, I have to Walking into the lobby was, I had seen pictures of it, I had seen videos, but now it's Star Wars brought to life. Outside the windows, there was space, I could look into the bridge, the canteen across the way. We've been talking about going on the Galactic Star Cruiser since it opened, and now we're actually stepping foot on the Halcyon. It's real, and I was so excited to get started. You mentioned you visit other planets, but what planet are you from? I'm from Coruscant. Okay. Yes. Yes. Navarra? That's in the outer room. Okay, okay. Outer room, yeah, I'm from Raxus, and the outer room is big. Raxus is also in the outer room. How about you? Okay. Go ahead and tap your unband right there, and that'll activate your door. And I'm going to follow you in just for some extra bit of information. Wow. First impressions? What do we think? I'm so excited for it. I'm just top, top on bottom Yeah, I can't wait. It's been 30 years. I've been, I've been looking forward to it. Yeah, we're, we're luxurious here. Yeah, for sure. I love it. I don't know what I was expecting when I went into the rooms on the Halcyon, but I can tell you that I was blown away by it. It was just so cool to see that theming that we saw on the bridge extend into the room. I mean, we had our own. Uh, port out into to see space and it was cool to see the bunk beds that people had talked about so much here's our room you can see the space map you can see out in the space window here's the pull down bed uh, i can't do it but it's in there i don't want to break a space nail um and then here's the main bed and then uh here are the bunk beds also, here's the space bathroom. You get to take this. It's got makeup removers and stuff, and the little tin is a take-home. Plus, there's conditioner and everything, shampoo, and it's all got the uh, logo. Ooh, water. Hello, and welcome aboard. Hello. Is now a good time to discuss your journey? Yeah. Yes. My name is D309, the logistics droid of the Halcyon, and I'll be available to you here during your journey. This is where we'll talk throughout your journey. And I cannot see into your cabin as this is an <laughs> Good information to them. Good. <laughs> Good in so to know. What brings you to our treasured ship? Business. <laughs> oh, a Scoundrel, are you here for work or just looking to cause mischief? Mischief? Before I forget, did you bring any Dianoga eggs with you on board? Yes. I am so pleased we found you. We found the eggs unattended in the hydro lift and wondered Oops. where they came from. <laughs> My bad. I'll move them to containment for our voyage. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is great. Is that where you're sleeping? This is it right here. Can you fit in there? You know what? Maybe. 
Hold on. <laughs> Naturally, after looking at our room, the first thing we did, eat. The main dining location is called the Crown of Corellia Dining Room, and for breakfast and lunch, it's quick service, and at dinner, it's a full service restaurant. I love breakfast and lunch aboard the ship because it's a lot of pre-made mini plates of all kinds of goodies, both familiar and unfamiliar, or familiar with weird names. And you get to pick everything that you want and put it on your tray like a little Tetris game of snacks. Lunch includes galactic desserts, flatbreads, salads, and while the boys agreed that their favorite was the takeaway, which was a ham and cheese sandwich on Brazilian cheese bread, my favorite had to be the bubble waffle grilled cheese that you dip in tomato soup. I'm actively mad I can't eat it again. We started exploring the ship. We checked out the climate simulator. <laughs> It sure does feel like Batu out here. What are the odds? And I noticed that we couldn't get into the engineering room, but I found a terminal, tapped my M band in on it, and was messaged by somebody by the name of Wraith Cole on my data pad. And he gave me a code, I put it into the terminal, next thing I knew. All of us are getting messages from different folks to complete different tasks in the engineering room. And one of the crew members was there, and we were getting a little nosy. Probably because the new mechanic, Sammy, didn't show up for work that day, so we had to get his tasks done. And they were, uh, we were getting road business. We were doing the thing. Yeah. 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 Can I have these two? These two? Yeah. Okay, okay, thanks. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, just the blinking. Anything, Anything blinking? blinking? Yeah, gotcha. well, all the blinking. Got it. He's doing it. That's just one. Oh, oh and I should hold it, maybe? Oh. Great. Okay. Okay, that's great. Okay. Three means go. Life yeah. support is good. That's important. We got it. Yeah. We got it. We did it. Right. <laughs> we're mechanics. <laughs> I'm going to just look at this thing over here. Okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I just wanted to look at it. Closer. I'm sure. Yeah. I didn't have any. Well, what are you looking We're trying to understand the schematic of the ship, I think, because we're Yeah, just, just wanting to stand here and yeah. figure out what's going on. Yeah. yeah. We're shopping for a ship like this for our business. <laughs> like yeah. Like Star Cruiser yeah. like this? Yeah. yeah. Well, wow. especially, we want to understand the undercarriage of the whole thing and how that works. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, I hope this helps. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah. 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 You know, around the corner. <laughs> Break now. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. You did. Alan, come through. I think we broke into jail. <laughs> so we went the opposite. Alan. He went around. Of course he did. <laughs> Alan would never break into jail. <laughs> Alan would never break into jail. Hey, don't mind us. We're just in jail. Alan, come through. Come, in, come into jail. <laughs> We're in the brave now. Oh, we are? Yeah. Oh, you know, we probably did, belong here. <laughs> did we do something bad? I probably. Did you just break us out of jail? That seems about right. Our explorations of the ship then took us to the sublight lounge, which is the cantina bar on board the Halcyon. After admiring the famous champagne bottle on display, we learned that the Chandrilla Starline founder, Shug Drabor, tried to crack it on his first cruise ship, but it wouldn't crack. So now he just displays it. Also, Shug Drabor is like this big, and we saw his house. It's very cute. But inside the lounge, we made a pact to drink our way through the entire menu while on board. To start, Alan ordered the mark of the Huntress, which is what bounty hunters drink to let other bounty hunters know that they've got a mark in the cantina throughout the galaxy. And while that's interesting, the Fiery Mustafarian, which I ordered, we didn't realize it at the time, but the lava extract that you pour into it would change the shape of our voyage. Uh, cheers. Cheers. To Spas. To Spas. To Spas. Oh, yeah. We met these creatures. They're from the seas, the Chandrilla Seas. And they're filtering the water to make 
shimmery water. This one's name is Bubble Fit. That's going to sound like a joke, but that's what we were told. And I, I, I have said that before. That's true. I'm curious if I named this fish. It seems like in some universe you named this fish. There's another one. Let's go find out his name. I want you to guess what this fish's name is. The other fish, of course, bubble fed. Now, take a moment. Look at him. See what see what fits him. Make a guess. Okay. Do you have your guess? His name is Paul. Just Paul. Just, just Paul. Like Ken. He's, he's just Ken. But he's or just Paul. Bubble fit and Paul. Next up, it was time for the mustard drill for the Halcyon. Not like a normal sea mustard drill, though. And at this point, the mechanic, Sammy, yeah, the one that didn't show up for work, he came by and told me that I should just hold my left arm up in the air. I didn't really know why, but, you know, I'm here to immerse myself and not ask questions. Eventually, I caught his eye and he told me I could put it down. I still don't know why I did it to begin with. to resist there will be consequences to celebrate this special departure i have a very special superstar the galactic superstar i talked about earlier the one the only gaia we then found out that intergalactic superstar gaia was supposed to be on board but hadn't made it yet and we found that out through wraith cole her manager but what did show up instead of Gaia was her luggage. And then Molly and Max decided that they were going to aid in the collection and transport of Gaia's luggage. You definitely want the Chaos Twins handling your luggage. Steer efficiently. I sure am. What steer is the best when they're backwards? Uh-huh. I've heard that. <laughs> After Max and I easily put the luggage in the cargo room, no problems at all. We ran into some first order troopers, but don't worry, we played it cool. We're, we're lost, you guys get it. We're confused. Just gonna go, gonna go that way. We then went back up to the lobby where we ran into some guy named Sandro singing Gaia's music, but we did make sure to tell him if he's gonna do that, he needs to give credit to the artist. Oh, that's good to know. That's, that's good. good to know. He's, he's got a space to cover. That's right. Yeah, well, we were hoping to when she gets here. And she She's on her way. Eventually, Gaia did show up on the Halcyon. Gaia! 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 Even though there seemed to be some tension, it was time for us to head over to lightsaber training. Lightsaber training is kind of like space PE, where you take turns using lightsabers and force shields to deflect practice beams and you're being instructed by a member of the Saja. It's a little cheesy, even for me. That said, I get a little misty when Yoda shows up and tells you to be one with the Force. Then, sense where the last will be, you can. Why are they letting civilians handle lightsabers? Are they suggesting everyone on this ship is Force sensitive? And what are these shields? That's not actually from the Star Wars universe. And Yoda is reaching out to all of us? 
is happening on this ship right now? Yeah, I crushed. If lightsaber training is space PE, then bridge training is space video games. Basically, you rotate through a variety of different stations, learning different skills such as cargo, systems, weapons, defense, and let's just say, some of us took it more seriously than others. Bridge training was no joking matter, okay? It was serious business. You never know when you'd have to call upon these skills at a moment's notice. Shields. Systems. Gunner. Cargo. I had to excel at all of these positions so that I might fulfill my duty to whomever needed me. I'm a pretty terrible gunner, but your girl crushes at systems. I know I said civilians shouldn't have lightsabers, but I'm alright with civilians controlling the entirety of the ship. It's fine. Round four commencing. supposed to be training, but then Lieutenant Croy came in and suddenly we were going into a First Order Armada to pick up supplies, to put a restraining bolt on a droid, to get information about the resistance, and apparently everyone was just okay with that. Again, I will help anyone who needs it. Well, we did help Lieutenant Croy smuggle on some questionable items, but to be honest, I've been talking to him anyway, because I still felt a little bad for the droid. So naturally, we went to the bar. Back at the sublight lounge, we got another round of drinks, some space old fashions. You said I can play however many cards I want to play, so long as it's to meet or beat. Them. Learned how to play Sabak. 6, 4, 11, 13. I ordered a cloud of cheese. Do you like Sabak? Oh, he knows what he's doing. Truly. I and then as soon as the troopers left, a stowaway showed up? Chewbacca. You're easy to spot. Battle You're very to tall. Let's go, Chewie. We'd had a busy afternoon first day on the ship, and it was finally time for our dinner. Gaia was scheduled to perform at this meal. Dinner aboard the Halcyon is a real treat, and I prefer night one dinner. You start with these spiral dumplings that have different fillings in them, and then it moves to a family-style course where you have chicken and steak and veggies and shrimp, but the best part isn't any of that. It's ordering a cheeseburger pot off the kids' menu with the waffle fries. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> middle of the performance, that stowaway Chewbacca made his way in. We had to keep him hidden. Get down, Chewie. Bye, Chewie. You got it. You got it. You got it. Got it. Lieutenant Croy was here eating. Decision. I suggest, my young friend, that it's you. So to distract from Chewie, we absolutely crushed it on the dance floor. We're dancing. Sammy's arrested Chewbacca. It's just, it's just evolved into chaos at this point, and I don't know how I can eat dessert at a time like this. So anyway, we go back to the bar, and who should be there but Gaia, and more importantly, Wani. But I had some questions for Gaia. Today. Oh, she's amazing. She's amazing. We love her. Whatever you're paying her, it's not enough. What did you think of the show? Amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, Wouldn't be half as good as it is without this. Oh, we agree. We agree. We love her. We love her. Yes. Well, Wani, I didn't have the courage nor the know. No, 
Question. It seems I, now you are a global phenomenon, a global galaxy superstar. This feels like a kind of a small venue for you to be playing. Is there a particular reason you're on this ship? I'm doing a favor for me. Charity. Understood. Charity. Charity. That makes sense. You remember when Molly said her drink mattered? What we've realized in our short time on the Halcyon so far is that there's a real entrepreneurial opportunity in space. If you see Sammy, please let him know that crew member Lauren is oh, extremely upset. Trust me, we've told him. Oh good. He's not having we've it. We've let him know. Unbelievable. It's unacceptable that he's been doing. Thank you. I hey, appreciate that. I imagine you've been familiarizing yourself down here. Kind of pitched in. Doing my best. Dinner. Have you seen the builder's plate? A builder's plate? Yeah. I... We, we're, we're interested in buying one of these ships for, for our, our business, business. and so we're just trying to check out how it's all laid out. We have a plate, a plaque uh -huh. of sorts that uh -huh. I know about, so uh -huh. someone else is like oh, your friends have found it right oh, over here. That right. might have oh, the information. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Lauren, what do you know about lava? About lava? Yeah. Like it's hot, it's molten. Right, it's exactly. Drinks upstairs, parents. Drinks upstairs. Yeah, I didn't know about that. If you had the opportunity to, I don't know, purchase some, would that be... Would that interest you? We're doing a survey. Yeah, wow. Sure. Why, okay. why not, right? Right. You not can think where you come from. Not at all. Not on Laval. No. no. So if we imported some, you'd be interested. Sure, as long okay. as it was done, you know, legally. Oh, okay, of right. course. Of course. Of course. Of course. You would never Someone. suggest to do anything illegal. Well, then I don't see why not. Yes. It would definitely not be an under the table it business deal. Definitely no, not be no, under no, the no, table. No, no. Okay. Of course this not. is good of information. If you wanted to pay for it under the table. We're not. I mean, we could we're not. Not. I mean, no, we're not. Nobody. We're never going to say. But we're no. not going but to. But we would it. not do that. No, of course not. We would not. Yeah, no, do of course yeah. not. But there are okay. well, I'm benefits. off the chrono. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. This is okay. good information. Well, that's yeah. Good. That's good. Absolutely. And thank you for helping us find this place. Of course. Place. My honor. Please this let me know. Yeah. 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 Alan and I are looking for this for the cruise director Lincoln Mock. I'm Lincoln looking Mock. for this information for Lieutenant Croy. So theoretically, so we're working against each other. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Everybody just. Because in reality, we're just here working for ourselves. That's right. We're working for our lava, <laughs> the business. lava business. We should That's name right. it. Yeah. It's a booming lava business. Yeah. We should come booming up with like a name. A True. Also, that guy Wraith Cole, the one that got me in the engineering room originally, he got us hooked up with a mission. You're going to Batu tomorrow. I want you to keep an eye out for a ship of lore called the Millennium Falcon. Heard of it. You've heard of it? Would yeah. you be able to recognize it if you saw it? Yes. Instantly. You'll board the Millennium Falcon. These coaxing coordinates, which are being transferred to you presently, will take you to a planet called Corellia. Anyone ever spent any time in Corellia? I'm sorry. Corellia, it's industrial, to say the least. Let's make this an in and out mission. But I want you to be greedy, all right? I want you to grab as much coaxium as you can. Now, the resistance needs some. If a vial or two finds its way into your pocket, your purse, your backpack, your fanny pack, that's between you and your maker. I've heard, don't ask me how or from whom, but you could sell a vial of refined coaxin for 100,000 credits in the underworld markets. 100,000 credits could buy a lot of lava. It's not what the droid has done, it's what it's carrying. Trooper, stop it. We shall use a restraining bolt to disable it. Therefore, we will place you in the custody of the First Order. Lieutenant? I mean, I said it'd help anyone. So anyway, we go back to the bar, and we ordered some really fun cocktails. Remember when we met Bubble Fat and Paul, the Hydromidae fish, earlier today? Well, it turns out when their two C's combine, it makes glitter. And when I hear glitter, I want to drink it. So I got the Silver Sea Martini, which was a work of art. It was very Barbie cool. It tastes like a mint martini. Also, Max grabbed the Yerdua Poison Spitter Drop, which is a mocktail that contained poison. But don't worry, because they put the antidote on top. They said it doesn't always work, but we decided to roll the Sabacc dice on this one. Poison! I'm glad there's an antidote. Whoa. What an interesting flavor. And I'm not dead. Alan, how many rounds of Sabacc do you want? I mean, like, outright, two. 
How, how many games have we played? Four, how many five. have you won? Two. Someone do the math. How many have <laughs> I won? <laughs> well, Max and I have drawn one. Oh, that's true. We drew one. Uh huh. And I won outright one. And you won outright one. Let's do the second one. time. And you won one. Oh, yeah, I did win one. Yeah. I just remembered. This one was my only second win. You ever have a box of rocks show up at your table? Well, on the Halcyon, you can. It's pumpkin seeds and chocolate rocks. And you just go like that. <laughs> and then. Hello. How do you feel after your first day aboard the Halcyon? Uh, space is cold, but I have a poncho. Oh. Uh, there's a lot of gambling, and we've found a new business. I know Mammoth Club, we're not, not that, that old, but even at one year, we're ready to branch out, and we've found a new uh, Endeavor. business venture. Endeavor, That's right. Yeah. Diversification is key. It's very promising, too. I might call it white hot with, uh, <laughs> with promise. I think it is molten. <laughs> yeah, really. yeah. It is erupting with uh, possibility. With business possibility. How do you feel after your first day in space? <laughs> There's so much espionage. <laughs> so much espionage. It is. The thing is, we're kind of working every angle right now. Like we are. You two have been working with Lenka and... To be fair, I worked with the lieutenant for quite some time throughout the day today. It's yeah. only when he insulted Gaia. He loves Gaia. Well, okay, he threw shade at Gaia. Okay, guys, I'm in my room. Get in there, <laughs> circa bong. <laughs> Uh, no, we've all been working with Lenka a little bit. You two have been working with the captain, and uh, I'm somehow in the first order. So somehow you say, yeah, Ooh. somehow. Past the break where Chewbacca was held, as well as our friends. Uh, Chewbacca, we were in there for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we broke out. into jail. And then I broke you up. Classic us. Um, I guess what I'm saying is. We're working every angle, but most importantly, we're working our new business. That's right. That's all that matters at the end of this. <laughs> it's day two. We're headed to get space breakfast and then to the planet of Batu. Have you been to Batu before? I've, you know, at least one time. We got lava dealings to do. We've got some deals to make. Next, we went and got breakfast at the dining room. They had some eggs, some space yogurt, some waffles. There were some real highs, and some real lows. Can't get everything in one bite, though. <laughs> she does not care for that. It's got cold. It's a cold egg. Oh. And the worst thing I've eaten so far in space. A little bit of this. First it tastes like nothing. And then? Well, and now I'm confused if I actually am tasting or if I'm tasting leftover maple syrup <laughs> from my fork. <laughs> There's something there. It's subtle though. We are on our way to Batu. Oh look, here's the places you can visit. Best Bin. Nabu. Yes. Perfect. Your transport's ready for you. Oh. Thank you so much. Our transport awaits. Uh, private transport. A private transport. With the Black Spire, located in front of the famous, or should I say infamous, Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities. Special. And for your safety, please remain seated throughout your voyage. Hold on to the handrails with your hands, tentacles, and other appendages. Drinks this side of the sector. <laughs> That was a very uneventful trip, thankfully. 
Okay, well, Max and I have the same mission here in Ogas, but Molly... I'm working for the First Order, but really I'm working for myself in the lava business. The lava business is booming. But uh, I'm headed to help Lieutenant Croy at Ogas. I need to find a forger. What do you need to find? We're looking for a spy on the inside. We got this credit credential you got to show them. That's okay. right. I'm at Ogas. Let's let them know. Right. Try to be real subtle. Yeah. Hey, you guys are good at subtle. Yeah. I'm, I'm subtle all the time. Talk Who are you to gonna find? Her, right? Not, yeah. Not the right. line. So, who wants this? Hey, Mark. How about this? Let's check the deal. Okay. okay. I don't know. Uh, cool. I think I might have. Nothing like back pocket. The Phantom! The Six! Yeah, Just to make sure we're not leaving Ogus private information. Got it. Okay, Mr. Clean. Scanner, it looks like. A little bit of extra. Disguise is a coaster. Subtle. 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 No way I can't do that, but man. For something. Like particular interest. You're checking credentials? I am. I'm always checking. Yeah. Last time, I, don't want to get I, I just watched you two with those two travelers right there. Not one credential was checked. I saw I'm watching. It's on that beautiful. Yeah. Check. Okay, update. Our contact, the forger who's playing both sides for the record. Which we appreciate. We we understand it. We get it. We get it. We get it. As entrepreneurs ourselves, our contact has told us that they can uh, they can let us know um, what's going on with the ship, what Lieutenant Croy wants with the schematics, help out the first order for Molly, but they knew a favor from us. See, they wanted 10,000 or 15,000 credits. Oh, she only wanted 10,000 for me. Oh, wow. She's we charging have, the good guys more money? That's we interesting. We don't have that kind of money, okay? We're broke as a joke around here yeah. because we're investing everything we've got into the lava, lava trade. Business. That's yeah. right. But good, good for us. They, they needed a favor. See, they live in the apartments upstairs here on Batu, and this pod racing engine is making a racket. Keeping them up at night, they can't get any sleep. So, guys, we're gonna shut down a pod we're racing We're gonna engine. shut it down. Access granted. The data. I did that. Turned off. I did that. Good job. Well done. So these two are trying to protect the droid. I have been asked to go sabotage an operation in honor of the First Order. And you know what? I'm doing it. Because I think they're going to give me a lot of credits. And that's what the lava business needs. Large cargo coming through. This is all so cool because as soon as I finished my hacking job, the ships turned on and started moving and then I got a notification that I did it correctly. And now Lieutenant Croy is telling me to investigate a resistance base camp that might possibly be on Batu. Um, I will rise to the occasion, but don't tell these two. Don't tell us oh, what? what? Nothing. Actually, I don't care because we're all working together for the lava business. That's I true. hacked into that ship. Whoa! Yeah. Kylo Ren ship? I did. I hacked into it. I got some information for Lieutenant Croy, and now I'm supposed to investigate a potential resistance base camp. Whoa. What about you guys? Well, we got a program to unbolt the restraining bolt from SK. Oh, nice. Yeah. Now, we may or may not have had to uh, hack which I believe is torture for a droid. Uh, another droid for this information. It's like let's let's not get into Bay. the specifics of it all. Yeah, let's no, no, it felt good. It felt good. To, to torture a droid? Now Two headed. To go. Two to go. One of which is to hop on the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. We got to get coaxium uh, for Ra uh, Raya. Ray Gaia. Ra yeah, Raya. Raya is Wraith and Gaia put together. That's right. Um, that's, their, that's their stand We're working name. together on that one. We are working together on that one. On the same side. Because Gaia, Raya, is, um, she just wants to protect her home planet. And that's the Resistance right. said if they, if she gets them some coaxium, they'll protect her planet. Yeah. And uh, we have to get that. And Wraith did say if we wanted to get a little extra. Put it in our pocket. Fund the lava business. Fund the lava business. Really our main concern. So we gotta get at least two. Yep. At least two. Well, you know, I had a bad feeling about
about that last group of bandits. This is, oh, 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 this is the group I've been waiting for, yes? Welcome, welcome, right this way, my friends. Come closer, come closer. Well, well, passengers from that fancy Galaxy Cruiser, let's see if those coordinates from your contact are any good. Today, you will be intercepting a first order train shipment of coaxium. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. You better be faster when we can fire the harpoon. We need it! Come on! We need another one! We got the Fire the missiles After securing our cargo, we made our way to the Resistance Base Camp. The Resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Bakara Bay secret. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. Don't look out there! They'll want the location of our secret base. Tell them nothing. The future of the Resistance is at stake. You guys, something terrible's happened. I lost Max and Alan. Where did they go? Who are you? Who are you? I can't tell by your clever disguise. Who are you? Get out of here. We don't know you. Are you sure you're not that? I've, that I've never been. Look, don't look at my arm. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, those are the route. Who picked these two droids anyway? Who are you? I see no evidence. Now! Found the alarm. All personnel to their station. Stop. The prisoners have escaped. How brave. But ultimately hopeless. <laughs> We're, we're going to pass along some messages from the resistance camp to Captain Keevan here. It uh, seems like, you know, we're lucky to have gotten bailed out by our resistance allies. Uh, yeah, listen. I was worried about Lieutenant Beck there for a while. Yeah. Yeah, well, Finn was more worried, and I knew where he was the whole time. So. I, I have we had, we had eyes. <laughs> Guys, I'm at a, a moral conflict. Okay. Tell, Tell us about your moral conflict. I just got a message from Lieutenant Croy. Yeah. Uh-huh. And he uh, knows something bad happened on the Star Destroyer. Uh huh. Yeah. And he he wants me to tell him something. Uh huh. And he he wants me. One of my options of what I can tell him is the Resistance secret hideaway location. Whoa. And I have sell out the I, I've entire been told resistance. many times not to tell the First Order. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Bakara secret. Tell me nothing. The future of the Resistance is at stake. So I can tell Lieutenant Croy either that the base is Pakara, okay. that they escaped, or that they destroyed a Star Destroyer. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna sell out the entire resistance because while I am speaking with Lieutenant Magnet. Croy, my allegiance is still to lava. And I think the First Order and the Resistance could use lava. So I'm gonna just say that they escaped. It's a huge blow, he says, yeah. Colonel Talis will not be happy. We got a message from, I assume we did, but I got a message from Captain Keevan. She uh, reported the damage started her in the Batu Orbit. Do we know about this? Uh, we escaped the first order. Yeah, we did. We decided to skip lunch on Batu in favor of eating aboard the Halcyon. We did grab a beverage though, and I would not recommend mine. I got the Coruscant Cooler, which I thought would be like a pre-made old fashioned, but it was very, very sweet, and I will not be having it again. It was more disappointing than my performance in the Sabacc tournament. Spoiler alert. All right. Yeah. I will take it back to the house. Can I trust you? Oh, yeah, we got you it. can trust us. Like the nearest crew member. You got nothing more yeah. than to do that. 
Welcome back, passengers. I hope you enjoyed your visit to Black Spire Outpost. I am still J6FA, and I will be your pilot. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Casey. Back aboard the Halcyon and ready for some lunch. Lunch was the same setup as the day before, but new menu items to explore, new favorites to find. Lunch day two complete. What was your favorite thing? Probably the burrata. Very tasty. Bantha flatbread showed up. Oh. I can agree about the Bantha flatbread. But also, I took some of the chili spiced cucumbers and mixed it with the burrata, and it was delicious. So maybe that. Looking forward to dinner and blue shrimp. Who's excited for blue shrimp? We have once more returned to the cargo hold on instructions. Can I help out my guy? Wait, it's not that sharp, but. Well, that was rude. Bye. Wow, wherever could they be? I am. <laughs> I am frightened. <laughs> okay, what do we found? Nothing. We just hit the so <laughs> You we, saw everything we, we, we did. We have found that we are silly. Okay. <laughs> scanning. Analyze. And get out my phone and do some scanning and analyzing as well. Oh, poor toys are in here. Stashing those. Need those, obviously, for later. Probably needs to work with either. Like, and here yeah, we have the influences attempting to solve a fairly rudimentary yeah, spatial reasoning good. puzzle. It it's has taken not, this is a hard one. an incredibly long time at this point, mm, allowing for this influencer behind the camera to enjoy a spot of coffee. It's not gonna... This one is hard. Oh, this is going splendidly. Cool Easter egg. This is from Mandalorian. Ooh. Surprise, surprise, we're back at the bar. Sabak's not gonna play itself. Also, we worked with the bartender to craft a custom lava-based old-fashioned cocktail, cementing once and for all that we were in the right business. <laughs> then it was time for the Sabak tournament, which I did not perform my best at. I would say that trying is most important, but losing is the worst. The sting of defeat. Also, I have no idea what Max and Alan are doing right now. We were just helping free SK, obviously. After the droid was taken care of, we set out on the greatest adventure we've had yet. Love. Much like other guests had helped Sandra write his love song for Wani, Wani and Sandra approached us to write another song. And did, uh, it went... 
thing that I've loved about this journey the most is that we're all from different worlds, different galaxies, yeah. whatever, but we're all here right now at this moment. That is nice. And getting to meet so many amazing people. So let's say we do Good two verses or something. Uh -huh. And the first one ends with, um, thing with opportunity. Uh, the next one would end with something about friendship, uh, but not as important as money. Yeah, yes, like yes, that. yes. Great. Good. I love that. Have you ever had to balance out us uh, before? Always. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, 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 what, a, what an interesting feeling that is of, of, of just absolutely trying to control chaos. Oh, and eruptions uh, are everywhere. You got it. You got to control we it. We erupt right now. Yeah. <laughs> the chaos erupts. The chaos erupts. We gather here together. Our galaxies collide. Erupting. Opportunity. Yes. Stay tuned. That song's coming back. We just wrote a beautiful song with Sandro. Absolutely stunning. It was it was stunning. And now we're having a little snack in the subway lounge before other adventures. Alan, our cheese has arrived. Huzzah! The house and beans. is currently under official sanction and blockade by the First Order. We will remain in orbit of Batu, but we do not anticipate that we will have to We're going to a meditation, or as we're calling it, remedial lightsaber training. We're really bad. We were really bad at it, so we're going to remedial lightsaber training. Not bad at it. Um, in the training pod. We brought that cargo on board from Batu, and I had no idea it was going to lead to any of this. It was amazing. Really need your help now more than ever. Uh, these are just a few of the students that the Saja may have been telling you about before. They found something extraordinary. Uh, I know that you said that, but you said it was a relic. Not many relics have survived. But this isn't any relic. Right? This is something really important. Right? I think I should just show her. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Do you know what that is? Oh, God. That information, that knowledge of the Jedi, we thought that it was destroyed when the temple fell on Coruscant so long ago. We only heard rumors that some of it may have survived, but we weren't sure if it was true or not. We've done it! Yes, yes, we have. The other Saja, have you seen us? SK, can you record, please? Greetings! Open this, you have. Strong with the force you are. Trust you. I must. Master Yoda, I am. For many years in isolation, but never alone. Always with me, the Force is. Always revealing itself, if open, what is. Discoveries of new abilities. Putting aside any canonical questions like why would civilians handle lightsabers. It's really cool to see a hologram of Yoda in front of you, to see Rey interacting with it, to see a holocron turn on and, and activate. It's a really neat story moment. Well, that was cool. Remedial lightsaber training was cool. Yes. We did it. I'm in a very meditative and zen state. We did not see a hologram of Yoda. Not even once nor any other sort of ancient all-powerful artifacts that might be indicative to great power. And I did not cry. I think even in the meditation you cried. Yeah, That's even true. in remedial lightsaber training. Well, blasters hurt. Probably because... Of the blasters. Yeah. Did you guys like meditation? Meditation was very cool. I also enjoyed remedial lightsaber training. Did you know meditation was going to happen? You know... When does meditation ever happen, right? It sort of like sneaks up on you, that meditation. You always want to make time for it. But it's hard to fit it in your day. And so sometimes it just has to get thrown on your schedule. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> the action isn't stopping though. Wraith Cole invited us to the bridge to put our bridge training to the test. We need to get that coaxium from Hondo delivered to us 
and not without some interference from some First Order TIE Fighters. But I urge you all to remember that coaxium is not only a power source, it's a source of power. Now my people, the Tweetling, have been stripped of that power for far too long. You know what, Ray? I told Hondo Onaka he'd be working with you. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, um, what, how did he take that? He took it. <laughs> okay, now what about the uh, first order? Uh, oh, Lieutenant Croy, don't worry about him. I've got that covered. You just make sure that Hondo Onaka makes it through this blockade in one piece. Understood. Wraith asked for a sign if we saw any of the First Order troopers come into the bridge. And I took that seriously. Coaxium through the ship. Luckily, we had the perfect distraction. No, not that. Lieutenant. Yes. You know, it has been such a pleasure getting to know you. Excellent. I Grow uh... up. <laughs> and then it was time for dinner. Night two's dinner aboard the Halcyon is a taste around the galaxy, where the culinary team presents different dishes themed to different planets and regions around the galaxy. Obviously, I had to order another cheeseburger pod, and yes, this is the night with the infamous blue shrimp. The red ball jungle sauce, they come on top of ocean meat with pickled oyster mushrooms. Great. Great. Thank you. Enjoy. We're going to eat this now. Get a new texture. It wasn't for me, but luckily the rest of the meal was delicious. And everything was going well until the power went out. I imagine that wasn't supposed to happen. Good? No, this is not good. Okay, okay. all right. Get that hand ready, all right? <laughs> what? Yes! To that heavens! Have you lost what's left of your mind, Captain, that you would deny these civilians one of the owners of their entire lives? being present to greet the supreme leader, Kylo Ren! The Halcyon is now under my command. 
of the authority of the First Order. Day. It's been so much has happened. We are now back in the Crown of Corelia dining room. The boys went to go get desserts. We're here for a dessert party. There's a lot of space desserts available at this dessert party, but all you need to know is there was all you can eat cat sack as kettle. I'm holding down the table in the front row because we were told Sandro, Sandro told us he's gonna come perform and he's gonna sing our song, which is ridiculous. Um, but we need to cheer him on, and we're Wani's number one fan, so. In this man and 
galaxies collide where there is So you guys excited that Wani and Sandra sang our song? I am. I'm even more excited that we didn't use the original lyrics that were proposed by someone. Who did that? I can't imagine. Anyway, it was a very good song. We know the asterisk, though. <laughs> we, we do. We do. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? It shall remain unspoken. It's really more of an omission. <laughs> it's an if you know, you know. It's That's an right. I-Y-K-Y-K. And do you know? We're entrepreneurs here. The lava business is gonna boom when they find out that we wrote an international song. I'm yeah. telling you, we're, we're planting seeds. We're of planting lava. seeds. Huh? We're planting drip drops of lava. That's right. You know how like when celebrities make liquor, it sells like hotcakes <laughs> even though it's not very good sometimes? Uh-huh, like The Rock. That's pretty good tequila. I'm, talk I'm talking about Nick Jonas here. I mean, but the assumption there is that that we're celebrities or the rock. No, I'm saying that Sandro is going to be a celebrity and oh, he's going to mention us in his song and that's going to spur people to want to buy our I like our that better. I yeah, like that I'm not better. saying we're, we're not celebrities. celebrities. No, but I we're was mentioned. Direct us on that. No, we're mentioned by us. We got a shout out in a celebrity song. Yeah. Exactly. True, 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 true. It's like how probably Tabasco went through the roof when Beyonce mentioned it. Oh, sure. She does have it in her purse. Yeah. After a little bit more sabak and, and a surprise to no one, another trip to the Subway Lounge. That was the end to another epic day. Um, it was really great to watch all the stories that we had started begin to end and watch how they all wrapped up and it was uh, just a really, really epic day. And then we prepared to disembark from the Halcyon, uh, but we couldn't leave without a little bit of breakfast. One of us was very excited about, about an egg. Look at that, look at that, look at that beer. We just had our last meal aboard the Halcyon. It's true. It was delicious. And now I am sad. Yeah. I am sad. But grateful. Yeah. 
How are you feeling right now? Uh, sad and grateful. Same. A little sleepy. A little sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> How about that bunk bed? <laughs> ready to ready to not sleep on a bunk bed. Yeah. What was your favorite part? Oh, one galaxy. The oh. song. <laughs> Sandra's song. Come on. <laughs> Sandra's song was great. No hesitation. <laughs> Sandra's song. Uh, if it's not Sandra's song, then I think uh, the events of the final night. It's leading up to it, and then of course fireworks yeah. and space. Boss fireworks. Spa. What about you, Moss? My favorite part was um, that scotch egg at breakfast. Uh, no. uh -huh. The food is very good in space, though. Um, I think as far as just being here goes, it was seeing you guys experience this, because uh, it was very cool to see my two favorite people do something really cool that I was hoping they'd love and in a universe they love. As far as a moment goes, I mean, yeah, it's gotta be Sandra's song or just our undying love for Wani, I think mm, is, is pretty supremacy. strong. Wani supremacy forever. And how are you feeling? I'm feeling very sad. I'm grateful that we got to come experience this and I got to do it one more time. Um, but it makes me really sad that this is such a cool and unique experience and I don't know what's gonna happen to this beautiful space. And I know this casting crew works really hard on this to make it amazing and it just bums me out. Hard agree. For me, you know, the first time I ever rode Rise of Resistance, I got emotional because I've loved this world and this IP and it's meant so much to me for most all of my life. And on that finale night, feeling that story come to an end and everyone in the atrium chanting along together as one and this is Star Wars and I love Star Wars and um, I got emotional both being in it and also really sad that I don't know that I'll ever get to have an experience like that again. Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is the most immersive thing I've ever done yeah. in a theme park, no questions asked. And yes, it's incredibly expensive, but those two and a half days are unlike any other. And I'm, I'm really sad that more people won't get to experience it because I feel like everyone I know that's gone on it loves it yeah. and it just just didn't work out. Shout out to all of the cast and the crew of the Halcyon, whether they were characters or hanging out in the Subway Lounge or in the dining room. Honestly, every one of you played an unbelievable role in making this experience and making the experience of every person that goes on that ship. And we look forward to you investing in our lava business uh, when we start importing it to your planet soon. It's erupting with opportunity. Another business that I have to manage the finances for. <laughs> so great. I'm so excited. Now it's intergalactic law. Don't, I don't know enough about it. Don't worry. We will go only through under the table business dealings. So you don't you won't say have that to, to people. You won't have to worry about it's it. All under the table. It's definitely legal. That sounds worse. It's not. Not. <laughs> this just sounds like it's illegal. No. If you need some lava, you let us know in the comments. If you'd purchase lava from us for any number of reasons, but you actually, you know what? Don't tell us what you're going to use it for. We don't need to know. It's not important to us. You could be using it for illegal things. Just don't tell us. Do you need to murder someone who's wronged you? That's okay. Not you okay. Don't need to know. Not okay. If you're a bounty hunter on a hunt for a bounty and know that their weakness is lava, that's fine. Also not okay. No. <laughs> no. Only for beverages. And other definitely not not illegal things.
it was just really interesting to watch the storytelling at scale. And I think it was a very fun um, opportunity for people to get involved in in a very unique way that you're you've never seen before, we've never seen before, and I I frankly worry that we won't ever see again. There are some really cool moments that I hope do make their way somewhere. Um, the lightsaber, the Yoda, Halicron, um, the cheeseburger pod, the cloud of cheese. Oh, wait, that, uh, that, the that, cheeseburger pod is not a moment. That's it's that animal. It's, it's, it's in one, Pandora. This one's better, guys. It's because it's bigger, isn't it? No, it's because of the cheese sauce that it's you Because did. Star Wars is better than Avatar. Well, I'm not even going to argue that. <laughs> uh, I hope the Silver Sea Martini makes it somewhere. The Mark of the Huntress makes it somewhere. The Pod Chaser makes it somewhere. I hope those bow buns make it somewhere. Basically, oh, the Meteor Egg. Basically, if you were food on the Halcyon, please go talk to the Docking Bay chefs and put that menu in there because that food is so good. And it makes me very sad that I will not get to eat it again. And if you want to serve somebody in your bar poison, they might not die. You can always add lava. If you like this video, <laughs> be sure to like and subscribe. Follow us on all of our socials. If you want to join us in the conversation, join us on Discord. All those links are down below. And until next time, friends, I'm Molly. I'm Alan. I'm Max. And it has been so magical. And galactic. And lava-tastic. It's erupting. Mm. Mm -mm. Stay mm. tuned for bloopers. Mm -mm. Wow. Nice. The industry. To lava industry. train. To the oh, lava yeah. train. Delicious. Uh, okay. Yeah. Parkour. 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 I went to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, touching the blade, even better. <laughs> mm. yeah, there is no try. That's the best one. <laughs> <laughs>